I've got a pair of road wireless go and a bunch of wires. I don't know how to connect this stuff to my phone. How does it work? What wires do I need? Can you help me out? So this is a question that came from Aditya M. Um, basically, he's got a Google Pixel 6, like myself. <laughs> uh, you got Google Pixel 6, like myself, uh, but it can you kind of run into an issue sometimes where what cables to use. So now uh, I don't have the Rode Wireless Go 2. I have the Rode Wireless Go, uh, which is the original ones, uh, as you can see here. The question now is what wires do you need to connect this properly? Right, so you're gonna find that there's two different types of wires, essentially, when it comes to the Rode Wireless Go. This is what they typically look like. Uh, you have one with a, a gray top and a black top, but even if you pay even more attention, you'll notice how uh, one of these actually has uh, three lines and the other one has two lines, uh, as you might notice here. Now, the thing is, which one goes or which one is the one you need for your cell phone so rule of thumb is two and two right which is this two and two goes for your camera so if your connectors have uh, something that looks like this you got the two and two cable this is actually if you want to connect the mic directly to your camera or your mic directly to a recorder of sort so at, on the other hand if you have a connector that looks like this, where you have two and three, right? So if you have a two and three such as this, then the two side is gonna connect into the microphone uh, of the road, and the three side is gonna connect into uh, the uh, phone. But then you need the appropriate adapter for your phone. You need a mic uh, mic adapter that connects into Google Pixel 6. So, so this is the Google Pixel 6. It's got a USB-C connection at the end, right? You need something that would allow you to connect it here. Uh, and the way that you go about doing that is you got to have the appropriate adapter. And the adapter, I have two of them, actually. I have one black, one white. They're exactly the same thing. You got, uh, I got the two, the microphone input on one side, and then I've got the USB-C connection on the other side. They're both the same exact thing. It's just that uh, one obviously is shorter uh, than the other. Connect the gray like this, the gray to the white, bam, right? And then you take the USB-C connection and you plug that into your phone, right? Once it's connected into your phone as such, I'm getting a call, hold on a second. And then from here, just make sure that your microphone, the, the receiver, not the transmitter, you know which one's a transmitter versus which one is a receiver, is that the transmitter actually has uh, a mic on it as you can see right here, all right? So make sure it's the transmitter, not the receiver. Uh, I mean, it's the, it's the receiver that's connected to your phone. So also, you know it's the receiver because it's got those, um, uh, th th those volume indicators uh, going up and down on it. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see this, but um, you see how you got the volume indicator? Just that thing. Anyway, uh, that's how you know. So, uh, once you've got that plugged in, now normally if you've got a phone, sometimes it just, uh, you know, you can just kind of load it up like that. Uh, let me just put my seatbelt on and I'm just gonna clip the microphone right onto the seatbelt itself. So this way it's nice and clear. Boom, as such. And so when you, now I'm gonna start re screen recording on the phone right now. So this way y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. Enable your camera. I have my camera enabled to double press the power button. Boom, and then that turns on my uh, video camera. And so from here, what you go to is hit on hit video. And once you go to video, it says wired mic is connected, tap the arrow to change. What's the arrow? Is that thing over here. All you have to do now is simply select the microphone. Make sure you select the microphone. If you don't select the microphone, you're not gonna be recording any audio. And so you've got the microphone selected, and now all you gotta do is just press that record button. Boom, you are now recording audio directly onto your phone. This video I'm recording well after the fact from the original video that I had shot, mainly because I was of the understanding that the new Google uh, security update 
actually resolved the synchronization issue in video mode whenever you plug in uh, an external mic or even a Bluetooth mic. However, Google Pixel, there's always been a reliability issue with that regard. Now, how is this video that's being recorded exact same way as I had described using the Rode Wireless Go mic plugged into the two to three and connected using the adapter into the Google Pixel? How is this working? Um, well, because I'm not using the standard Google app. Um, the standard Google app is fine and it works well uh, if you're going to be using some sort of external audio like I had done. But if you don't, this is what's going to be. So those are the two additional benefits of the World Wireless Go 2 over the Rode Wireless Go. As you noticed, it was all out of sync. But if I match it up with the original audio, this is what it ends up looking like. If you've got a Wireless Go 2, uh, which is uh, the second, the updated version of the Wireless Go, uh, one of the benefits of it, or two benefits that you get from it is, number one, you have two transmitters, typically. If you have two transmitters, then you can connect more than one person um, using the mics. Uh, so that way, if you want to record a conversation, let's say you're doing a drive time vlog or something like that, or an interview, um, and you want to get both audio, um, from what I understand, you can, can uh, you can record either each individual's audio on a different track, or you could combine the tracks. It's a setting you might have to do through the Rode Wireless software on your computer. So that's one benefit. The second benefit also is that the Rode Wireless transmitter also acts as an independent audio recorder. So for whatever reason, if there's any kind of electronic interference, or some connection goes wonky, or whatever happens, at least you have a raw recording on the microphone itself. So those are the two additional benefits of the World Wireless Go 2 over the Rode Wireless Go. That is essentially a multi-camera sequence uh, using all three cameras, my Insta360, my Sony, and the Google Pixel all synchronized together to give you a seamless look using a master audio track. But that is not convenient if you want to go if you want to do it on the go, just like as we've got it going over here, then you're gonna wanna uh, use a different app. Now, you have several options in regards to external apps, but these apps are not necessary, the good apps are not free. So this app that I'm using right now is called Filmic Pro. Um, I don't know how much it costs. It might be something like 15 or $30, something like that. Um, you pay for it and it basically unlocks your phone uh, in regards to uh, everything that you could do with it, different frame rates, different hardware that you can uh, uh, that you can sync with, external microphone, total totally clean syncing, um, and so Filmic Pro has always been reliable in that regard. You can choose slow motion, normal motion, 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second. Whereas on the standard app, you're limited to 30 or 60, and then you have to do some. Uh, uh, some funky stuff in the edit if you want to match it with any video that's not 30 frames per second. So that, that's going to be an issue. Um, but with Filmic Pro, you can set the frame rate and it will record in the appropriate frame rate. Another alternative, which I don't recommend, is an app called ProTake. And the reason I don't recommend it, I've paid for Pro, uh, ProTake as well, is that uh, it crashes. <laughs> it unlocks the phone even to a greater degree, but uh, it tends to overheat the phone and so and then the app just simply crashes and it's not reliable so uh, But in this case filmic pro tends to work really well in this regard uh, One thing that might be useful for you though is Sometimes with you when you're recording a video like a talking head such as this you've got your mic uh, But I'm not even using the selfie camera. I'm actually using the main camera. How do I know I'm framed up? Um, part of that is essentially using a little mirror um, <laughs> just like just like there, uh, I am essentially making sure that I am in frame um, when uh, I set myself up. So this way, um, so right now I'm looking at the mirror, uh, kind of like a flip out screen, and boom, I'm talking here. Uh, not always ideal, but on the other hand, if you are uh, talk like if you're gonna do like a walk and talk type of situation, because this thing's on a tripod, uh, I mean this works just fine. Um, you're on the go, you got your microphone, uh, and don't mind the mess, um, basically, uh, 
we have a baby, so. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but this could also work out just fine um, if you're gonna be uh, talking, vlogging, and using the camera for, using your phone as a camera with a dedicated microphone input. So just wanted to add that in there. Back to my past self. Whenever I use a Rode wireless, like with the phone, yes, I'll use it as such. But if I'm using it with a camera, I'll typically pair it with a Tascam. I'm actually recording with uh, a Tascam audio recorder right over here, as you can see here, with my shotgun mic, the Deity uh, D3 Pro, I think, with a Tascam attached right to the back of it. So uh, that way I get recorded audio, high quality, clean, uh, um, wave, uncompressed, that I can then edit. So, um, yeah, I mean, that I typically tend to pair that so that uh, so this wireless that's being recorded onto the camera or the phone ends up being essentially a backup. So just as a recap, make sure to record on your phone, you have the appropriate cable. In summary, what are those cables? Not the two and two, right? You got the two and two here. Turn on the autofocus again, right? So the regular camera to microphone, not phone, camera to microphone, this two and two cable. What you want instead is the two and three cable, typically indicated by a gray, uh, gray cable, right? Gray head. So the three, this one here, goes into an adapter. Um, pull this adapter back as such, boom. And this then allows you to connect it to your phone, boom, just like that. Reliability issue number one with regards to the Google Pixel phone has to do with Every now and then there's an update, a, uh, a system update that happens with Google. And that just makes some things like microphone connectivity wonky. The second factor also has to do with uh, the situation and instance in which you are recording video. If you're recording a lot of video uh, in a situation like inside a car, in direct sunlight, uh, the phone tends to overheat. Uh, and so if you're recording short clips here and there, that's great, but if you're trying to do something uh, that's hobbyist, semi-professional, or even professional, I would not suggest using this uh, for that reason. Uh, but when it does work, the image coming out of it is great, as you saw. And so, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, that's the that's the only issue just to be wary of. Um, if I uh, I would in fact advise um, that. For me personally, one of the things that I typically do, I keep this uh, Insta360 um, uh, with me. This is the 4K mod right now that I'm recording with. Um, and this is a Sony ZV-E10. Although the ZV-E10 uh, is a bit of a clunky setup, as you can see here. Uh, let me just press record. So this is basically, now I have a separate bag for it and whatnot, uh, but it's rather large. Uh, whereas this is relatively tiny, so, um, and this also is kind of big too, but I could make it smaller if I get the DJI mic just simply attached to it as opposed to this whole um, boom setup with a Insta360 uh, stick that I typically use for, uh, I stick one end on the bottom of the thing and then I connect the other end on top of the mic to make for a nice uh, boom uh, undersling a briefcase setup. But yeah, this is the ZV-E10. What I would actually, one of the things I'm looking at considering doing is actually um, just keeping this for regular production, not on the go production, and getting myself one of those pocket cameras from Sony, the uh, ZV-1. Uh, so I get two small cameras, I can do a multi-camera vlog setup whenever I need to, like this in the car. Um, and so yeah, I hope uh, you found this helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you soon.